All right, Nico. So I understand this is your first time in San Diego. What took you so long to get here? Oh man, I wish I wish my first time was in San Diego. But I'm glad I'm here now, and uh, the, the timing is perfect because my grandfather fought in the same arena I'm fighting in. He got his jaw broke, and uh, you know I'm coming into this fight with a rematch against the guy who gave me my hardest fight. So I'm going there to break the curse of you know my grandfather getting his jaw broke, and going in there to do way better than I did the first time I fought this guy. You've got a lot of eyeballs on you, a lot yes, of attention. Yes. How difficult is that to balance all of the attention with everything you need to do to develop as a professional? It's not too bad, you know, the attention and the, the eyeballs come from the love of my grandfather. If it, if it were coming from like hatred or any sort of animosity, it'd be hard. But I feel the love and support from the people who support my grandfather, so it makes it easier, honestly. There may be people in the stands who were there at that fight. Yes. I mean, it's been a long time. Yes, I know. Uh, but that's possible. No, it's very possible. You know, it's not, you know, it's not that long ago thinking about it. So it's very possible. And uh, yeah, we're just, you know, recreating history. So yeah. it's awesome. Well, Navarrete is going to look outstanding, as he always does. Um, and his fans are obviously going to be in the crowd. So hopefully they enjoy my fight as well. They went nuts the last time he was here. Yes. They had a good time. I know, I know. It's, it's awesome that I'm fighting in San Diego. Like you said, it's so close to Tijuana. So, you know, that's where the boxing fans are at. Yeah. So they're definitely going to show up for this fight. What is it going to take to develop a younger fan base, in your opinion? You know, that's that's your demographic. What's it, it going to take? I think it comes on, on its own naturally. You know, I'm young. Uh, I just turned 22 years old. You know, I'm fresh out of college. So uh, people my age want to want to support, I think, and and then of course people who are older than me who watched my grandfather want to support as well. So I'm that bridge between people my age and people who are 60 or 70 who are watching my fights because of my grandfather. Some people don't handle pressure well. Some yes. flourish. You seem to be flourishing. What do you think I it flourish. takes to make that happen? Um, honestly. I have no idea. I think you just, I, I really do believe I was just born to be where I'm at now. Um, I think everything happens for a reason and uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be doing what I'm doing. What do you think you'd be doing if you weren't in the ring? I would definitely still be following a calling of some sort. But I don't know what I'd be doing because my, my mind's been on boxing for a while. 